Say hello Lucy. Or not, you can sit over there too. Okay, so we're standing up this time. You know, trying out new things now that I have a tripod for a period of time, I'm borrowing it. Um, I figure we might as well try out some new things. Okay, so for those who haven't seen my, um, Lucy, I'm talking. Mm -hmm. For those who haven't seen my Bernadette's videos, I said that I have a second pair of American Duchess shoes that I ordered. And here they are. They are the Londoner ch in the cherry colour. So uh, yeah, what I'm going to do for this video is wear them for a week and we'll see how they compare to the Bernadettes but also how they are in general. Alright, let's open them up. <gasps> Lucy, what's in here? A shoe. A shoe. A shoe. So they are a very, very similar style of shoe to the Bernadettes, <laughs> except the laces are very different, and of course the um, style of the leather is different. Mm, it smells so nice. <laughs> oh, and these ones actually have grip on the bottom, so I do have these sticky dots to put on if I need to, but this looks like a decent amount of grip, so I might not need to. Um, yeah, but they are leather soles as well, so yeah, let's grab out the other one. Again, beautiful, beautiful, nice. Feels like, I mean, this is not the most grip in the world. I'm used to wearing big chunky boots that have like big grip, but you know, at least it's not completely smooth like the last ones. Uh, these look very cute and I think they match my top quite nicely actually. Um, as I wear these throughout the week I'll also give some style tips for anyone who's kind of nervous about wearing the style of shoe. Although I feel like these kinds of shoes are a bit more normal compared to the Bernadettes. But still they are, you know, for vintage shoe and I'm expecting them to be very comfortable. I mean the heel is one of the vintage style heels which are quite quite comfortable. I don't feel like they're wearing heels which is a blessing <laughs> I must say and last time when I wore the Bernadettes I didn't get any blisters at all and that's so rare for especially leather shoes to not get any blisters whatsoever so I'm hoping these will be the same because they are you know sculpted to the shape of my heel so yep yeah. all right let's go try them on so today i'm going out shopping so they should get a decent amount of wear um so we will really put them to the test for the first day lucy someone's in a screaming mood today yeah you're in a screaming mood mm -hmm. okay the world has to revolve around this one so, um, it'll really put them to the test, and we'll see if I get any blisters, but, you know, going by the last ones, I don't think we will. And I'll check in at the end of the day and let you know. Okay. Um, I saw a comment on my last video that said I should get a shoehorn, and honestly, I think I probably should. That would definitely help. Okay, no, these ones are much easier to put on. I don't know what it is about them. Maybe the hole at the top is bigger. Oh, and I'm also wearing very slippery socks. So yeah, it fits nicely. It's very, you know, tight to my foot. Not in an uncomfortable way, just in a form-fitting, it was made for a foot kind of way. And we'll put the other one on. I don't know if it's just these socks. We'll see as the week goes on if they are indeed this easy to put on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, gorgeous. I love them. So far they feel very comfortable. I mean, that's kind of what I was expecting from the last shoes. 
Oh, so cute. Okay, so I'm about halfway through my day and I'm in a lot of pain, so let's see what's going on down here. Also, it started raining. Ooh. So I have a theory that because these shoes were a bit easier to put on and therefore a bit looser, they must be rubbing more. Yeah, we got a bit of a blister going on there. I think I might wear thicker socks tomorrow. Just because these socks are so thin that it probably wasn't a good idea to wear them. Okay, this foot, no blisters. It's just this one. Okay, I might call it a day there and put on some different shoes. So this is the outfit for today. It's a bit extra, but I'm going to D&D, so we're allowed to be a bit extra for that. Um, so, I have some thicker socks on this time, so hopefully it won't be as painful, but honestly, I have no idea. So, <laughs> let's put these guys on. And I will also do it up a bit tighter than last time. Oh, I just love the silhouette of these shoes. They're so cute. Oh. So, on my last video people said that the wear on the bottom is important and is good because that's how you get the grip and that I shouldn't worry about it even though it does look concerning so thank you to everyone who left those comments it's very helpful any other tips uh, is very appreciated but yeah there we go so cute. Oh, I love them. All right. So it's the end of the night and I think the more thick socks really did help with making these much much more comfortable because I'm not in pain so I think the trick is just to wear thicker socks when you're breaking in shoes that should be obvious but you know I'll double check my heel that got the blister again and no, it's completely fine, so. My feet are feeling great, actually, so that was a successful day. Thick socks, that's the tip. Who would have thought, huh? Tomorrow I'll be wearing them again all day and let's check the bottoms of them wearing in, I suppose. Um, I do notice that they are sometimes just a little bit slippery, but I suppose I have to completely wear them in for that to be okay. And I haven't, you know, actually slipped over, it's just been when I'm walking on more polished surfaces, they've been a little bit like, well, gotta make sure, keep extra balance. This is the outfit for today. We have this dress, which has pockets. Oh, gotta love pockets. And they're big ones too. And this coat to keep me warm because it's kind of cold out now. Um, okay, so pop on these shoes. Today I'm going out to go shopping for a shoehorn. So hopefully I can find that. Thinking maybe Target or Daiso but I'll investigate.
these stockings are a little bit thin so I am a little bit worried about getting blisters again but hopefully I th it'll be fine because they are starting to get a little bit more worn in Lucy if you want to come over here just come over here Got some Lucy participation. Oh, your head matches my stockings. Little one. Oh. I honestly don't think I really need a shoehorn for these shoes. Uh, just because they go on really easily. I think it's more the Bernadettes that I need the shoehorn for. But there we are. What do you think of them with these stockings? Mm -hmm. Yes? No? I think they're cute. Okay, so, um, end of the day now, and they were a little bit uncomfortable on my ankles, but to be honest, it was totally fine. Um, yeah, I just think I need to wear thicker socks again when breaking them in, but to be honest, it's not that bad. I don't think, I don't, you know, I wasn't bleeding, I didn't have any serious blisters, so... Yes, I'm very happy with these shoes. They are lovely and I got so many compliments on my outfit today. Also today I got this shoehorn, so I'll be using that tomorrow, which is exciting. It took me a long time to find one, but if you live in Melbourne as I do, a big W. That's where I found that. It was kind of difficult to find a shoe one, actually. <sighs> and yes, beautiful shoes. And I'll be wearing them tomorrow as well. And again, like the Bernadettes, like I haven't had any troubles with my knees or anything. It honestly doesn't feel like I'm wearing high heels at all. They're that comfortable. I don't know how they do it, but is a perfect design and I think today I didn't have as much problem with um, slipping around uh, maybe these soles are breaking in a little bit more so I don't think I'll need to put on those um, the little grippy pads so today I'm just going to be um, doing an assignment so just being around the house and also going to my parents house in the evening so I have more of a casual look on today. Just some jeans and a red hoodie. A little bit dressed down. And I have some nice thick socks, which are Naruto socks, which is a little bit weavy of me. All right, now let's put on these shoes. We have the shoehorn, which I'll try out. Haha. -ha. Okay. So if I remember correctly, I'm gonna put it back and hold on to the front. And we're in. That was very easy. It's been a long time since I've used a shoehorn. I'm not sure these shoes necessarily go with these socks, but you know, they don't really need to because I'm not seeing many people today. Perhaps if you were to wear a casual outfit, Maybe just plain black socks is probably the way to go. One thing that I did find annoying yesterday when I was walking around shopping, the laces kept coming undone. I think they're a bit slippery because they're new, so just doing double knots on the laces to make sure I'm not having to retie them all the time. Okay, it looks kind of ridiculous with these socks. It's fine. Okay, 
It's the end of the day with the um, questionable socks and I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the video but I'm a Aussie size 9 and I ordered these in, in, in an American size 9. But yeah, I think with these thicker socks it felt very nice and comfortable. I think that these are just a tad bit bigger than my Bernadette's but they still fit nicely so I haven't received any more blisters or and I wasn't uncomfortable at all. In fact, it was much more comfortable with thick so thicker socks on today, so I think tomorrow I'll definitely go the route of thicker socks. But anyway, I'll take them off. And here we are. Starting to get broken in nicely on the insides too. So cute. See you tomorrow. So today is supposed to be my last day, but I'm going to throw in an extra day just because I have another day off before work. So um, I want to do one more, more formal outfit uh, with these shoes. But yeah, um, this is today's outfit. I'm just going to be studying and maybe running a few errands. Nothing big planned today, so. Yeah, um, anyway, let's get these shoes on. Wearing some thicker socks and less Naruto-y, just plain black. Shoehorn makes it so easy. Hopefully I'll have another comfortable day wearing these shoes. Here we go. Very cute. Okay, so the end of the day now, and it was an extremely comfortable day. Um, it was raining a lot today, so the shoes did get a little bit wet, but um, they're fine. It was only like a little bit of rain, and I was completely comfortable all today, but I wasn't really, you know, walking around a lot. And yeah looking nice so we'll have one more day tomorrow and then that will be the end of our little um, wearing in anyway here's how the bottoms are looking they're honestly looking a lot less worn than the other ones for some reason but yeah on, today I didn't um, slip around even though it was wet so I think that something's happening with the soles to make them less slippery so, that's good. Here is the inside, if that interests anyone. And here's the other one. This one, for some reason, looks like it's a little bit more worn than the other. Oop. There we go. But yeah, they're both looking nice. And yeah. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, last day. Here's my outfit. Okay, so we have come to the end of my week wearing these shoes, and here is the soles of them. I think they are worn in, or at least this one is more than this one, I don't know what's going on there, but I think it's alright. Um, so, this week has been quite comfortable apart from that, you know, beginning where I got that blister on my heel but honestly I think that was more 
my bad rather than the shoes bad. Compared to the Bernadettes, they seem to be a little bit bigger, um, but that's not really a huge deal, to be honest. Um, they are still super comfortable, and I didn't get any blisters or pain anywhere else in the shoe while wearing them this week. So, yeah, they're just they're shaped in a way that just makes them super super comfortable. Yeah, um, I would totally want to get more shoes from American Duchess, though I think these are plenty. I'm kind of interested in getting maybe black or brown shoes, more neutral, but I have a lot of boots, so I'm not sure. If you guys have any favourite American Duchess shoes, I know that the Londoners are very, very popular, but if you have any other favourites, please leave them down below. Let me know which is your favourite style of shoe from American Duchess. This was an amazing week and I really really enjoyed wearing these shoes and styling outfits around them. I think this might be one of my favourite outfits though, even though it is relatively simple. I think it's definitely more wearable and yeah, I don't know. It's been a really fun week and I hope you enjoyed watching and continue to watch uh, more of my content. I'm thinking of doing some more about full length skirts in general because I've fallen in love with them so yeah keep an eye out for that and oh, look at this good bird. Your feet are really cold. Look at her. So colourful. Say goodbye, Lucy. Okay, she really she really said goodbye there. Alright. Bye.